Now, I do want to take the opportunity to again welcome the allocation of $65 million for the construction of a new school in Brisbane's inner west, something I've been pushing for for some years now. I've written to the Education Minister asking for more detail about the promised community consultation and the Department's current thinking on the location of this school, and I look forward to a response as soon as possible. But it's clear, looking across all the primary schools in Brisbane's inner west, that the schools that are struggling the most with overcrowding in this area are Ironside State School in, Indrapilly, uh, in St Lucia, sorry, Indrapilly State School and Toowong State School. These are all schools that have recently had or are currently undergoing pretty major infrastructure upgrades and getting new learning spaces. But in each case, these new facilities um, are really a case of playing catch up. Um, there's essentially no capacity to expand any further without robbing these kids of the little play space they have left. Now, as I've said before, Turinga, where the state sold off a former primary school site more than 20 years ago now, is the sensible location for a new school. Now, finally, on this issue, Speaker, it's, it's equally important to note the Inner West also needs additional secondary school capacity. Since Tawong College was closed in 2006 um, and converted to the Selective Entry Academy of Science, Maths, Technology, we've been left with a pretty significant gap in secondary school catchments. Indrapilly State High School and Kelvin Grove College have enormous catchments and are similarly struggling with how they could possibly cater um, for the existing enormous student populations or any growth in those. Now, I've discussed with the Indro State High School, PNC and the community there that um, yeah, it's pretty clear that they don't want to see their school, as outstanding as it is, they don't want to see it continue to grow unabated. Student numbers have more than doubled in the last decade. Now, I've made the case before, and I reiterate now, that the government should consider whether this school that has been proposed can cater for prep to year 12 students, and if not, let us know what the plan is for dealing with the pressures on our secondary schools in the inner west that are coming. And with that, I'll just reiterate my support for those bills and commend them to the House. Thank you, Speaker. Authorised M. Berkman, Indra Pilly.